Hello Jacko! In this video I'll show you how to make a puzzle-like effect in DaVinci Resolve that can be simple or unique and it can be also used as a transition. Now let's get digital. Now this effect will be done in the Fusion page and you could use a Fusion clip where you can simply use a video clip. And in this case I'll simply use a video clip. I'll make a simple puzzle effect. So I'll use a rectangle, scale it down. I'll use a transform to position it. And for the animation, what I'll do is I'll go to frame 10, select rectangle, and I'll be animating the level. And the animation will end at frame 25. So this will be visible. And as for the transform, I'll be animating the size. It will end on size 1 and at the beginning it will be bigger than that. So maybe size 2. So that is my animation. I will now simply connect it to the media in and I get one section of the video clip. And now I just have to fill all of this in. To do that I'll be using the duplicate node. So control space or shift space to get the select tools, type in duplicate and add it to the clip. At the moment I'll be using 5 copies, but this will depend on the shape that you use. So if the shape is bigger you will need fewer copies and more if the shape is smaller. Now I'll simply offset the center position. So in this case I do need more copies, maybe 7 copies. And I'll make it so that there is a bit of a gap between the shapes. Then I'll add another duplicate node. I can simply use this one, set the center X position back to default and I'll be adjusting the Y position. In this case I also need more copies, so maybe 10. And I have to adjust the Y position just a bit. And now all that we have to do is adjust the animation. At the moment everything will be visible at the same time. And that's because these two duplicate nodes just duplicate what they get as an input. So to fix that, we'll adjust the time offset. In the first one, I'll maybe use minus 15 frames and in the second one, minus 20. If the PC is slow while doing this, go to the playback, render cache and disable it. And you can also right click here and disable the high quality and motion blur. That looks nice and we can make it look a little bit nicer by adding a shadow. So type in shadow and I'll be using this one, drop shadow. I can't remember if both of them are inside the Vinci Resolve or if I downloaded one of them. So I'll just use both so you can see the difference between the two. So this one needs to be set up. And actually I think this one needs to be behind here, so the shadow, we can adjust the distance, also the alpha if you want it, and maybe that's it. But if you have the alpha all the way to 1, you will see more of a shadow. And as for this drop shadow, it has the visibility as I want, I can simply adjust the strength, adjust the drop distance and the angle and adjust the blur. So this is how the effect looks like, all that we have to do is to fade this out so that if you use this effect as a transition it won't suddenly cut off from this grid to a whole image. Now you could adjust the size, the width and the height of the rectangle but because this is being animated and duplicated then the animation would basically end here. So what I suggest to do is copy the media in right click, paste an instance of it. So now we basically have a nice looking clip and we'll use a dissolve node, connect this new clip of the instance and this drop shadow, we'll connect it like so. And now all that we need to do is simply animate the background and the foreground. Now depending on how you have this connected, you may need to go from zero to one. In my case, I have to go from 1 to 0. Then simply find the point where this animation ends, so something like this in my case. 
I can now keyframe this value and decide how long this should fade out, maybe 10 frames is long enough and fade this out. Now this was done with the simple shape using the rectangle, you could also use an ellipse, a custom polygon, but you can also go to the effects, tools, go to shape and in this case I'll just use an hang on and I need to render it out. So like that, this is the shape that it has by default, you can also adjust it. So you can adjust how many sides it has and you can also make custom shapes by using the S boolean to combine or intersect two shapes. So now instead of this rectangle, I'll have the hang on, I need the transfer node. So I'll scale this down and position it. Now in this case, this part will be a little bit cut off because it doesn't go all the way to the end. I'll then also use two duplicate nodes. I'll simply adjust the offset and the number of copies, maybe to nine in this case. Copy this duplicate node. Now in this case, because it's a pattern, I want to offset the X position. So this could also be something that you can use. And what I also need to do is adjust the offset here. So maybe something like this. I could use now another duplicate node, flip it around to get this top part. But what I'll do is I'll use a mirror node to get a different kind of effect. Then you'll just have to play around with the angles to see what you get. So this one could look nice. I can enable another one. This looks good to me, so I'll use this one. Now I can simply connect it. Now in this example, I don't have any animation, so I'd have to adjust the transform. Maybe I'll do it quickly. So this will be the final size at the end of the shape and a bit bigger at the beginning. You can also switch these two values around so you don't have to do the dissolve at the end. Maybe in this case using the transform is not the best solution and I could simply just go to style and animate the alpha. So let's see how that will look like. looks okay. In this case, the animation ends really soon. So this dissolve would have to end also very soon. So from this point to this point. And I can make the animation like so. And then I'll simply have to disable it at this point. Now you could also make a macro out of this so that you don't have to make this effect all of the time and you would simply put it onto a clip as an effect. So if I just show you how you can make an effect that you will simply put onto the clip in the edit page, you will also find it here under effects and templates. And in this case, what you'll do is select all of the nodes, right click on the last one, this being dissolve one in my case, go to macro, make one, make sure that the dissolve or the last node is set to output with the checkbox and no other node is red. Go to file, save as group, go to fusion, templates, edit because this will be in the edit page. If you just want to have it in the fusion page, you can put it here. Otherwise go to edit, effects and give it a name. I already saved it. Then click save. Then go to the effects, type in the name. So puzzle. And you should see the effect. I've already applied it to this clip. And as you can see, it's the same, although it needs to render out. And so that we have the transition, I'll simply render out this clip. And that's it. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, Jackals. 
Keep it digital.